What's going on, everyone? Today we have a special video game. This is Diva Story 6 Imperial of Nursartia. Now, as you can see, this game is in a language that I do not know, that language being Japanese. So I don't have any passwords. Now, I know what this is. This is like the difficulty setting. So I'm going to start on... You know, let's start on level 2, because I don't feel like starting on level 1, and I certainly don't feel like starting on level 3. 2 seems like a happy middle ground. I wonder what gave me that impression. Anyway, this is Diva 6. You're flying through space, already a big plus, I love space video games. And you fly to these planets, and what you have to do is take them over. So right now we're at planet number 10 called Kohiro. And now you can put these three things down. This is pretty much the whole game, by the way. So I believe what this does is it's extra shield. So I'll put that in there. I believe this kills everything on the screen. And this is just a missile which fires a whole bunch of missiles, as missiles usually do. So we'll put that one right at the end. Now, I might have gotten that mixed up, but... So now you're playing as this little mech guy, and you're flying through space, taking over planets, being cool, maybe ruining some alien's day. Maybe we are the aliens. Maybe this was Earth the whole time, and we'll find the Statue of Liberty in the beach. But yeah, as you can see, planets don't really like being taken over. So, they will try to stop you. Now, you don't get points in this game, so I'm just going to try avoiding most things. You don't really need to... Okay, maybe you do. Maybe I will just... Put an egg on my face. I already said eat my words. I already said put a foot in my mouth in other Let's Plays. And I don't want to just say the same sayings over and over. And it looks like I got the shield and the kill all enemies on the screen backwards. But, you know, that doesn't matter because now we will get extra shields later on, which we definitely need. Oh my goodness. That was a little embarrassing, but it's nothing a little bit of old space determination can't solve. Okay, give me the shields, give me the shields. Perfect, perfect, perfect. A nice gift from above. Okay, watch, watch out for these missiles. These missiles do not play nice. They do not behave. Okay, frogs, or like robotic frogs, not really a fan. Anyway, now we got missiles. And now we're at the final boss. I haven't seen blasts like this since Taco Night at James Earl Jones' house, I gotta say. Okay, this part is very difficult, apparently. But you know what? We will try it again. If at first you do not succeed, you have to try, try again. So on Kohiro, we already made it past most of it. We'll put the kill all enemies thing right here. Put the shield thing right here. And I liked my idea with the missiles before. So now let's just go. You jump pretty high because gravity on this plane is fairly low. And you're also in a super powered mech suit. So we'll just try this level again. Watch out for all this. B button does nothing, by the way. It's just A button for shoot and up for jump. You can crouch, which I think I might try to do. 
And I got shot twice. That's fine, that's fine. Sometimes you gotta you gotta take a bullet so you get motivated. Builds character. Builds character. To be fair, I don't really want that much character. I just want to kind of take over this planner right here. I am the space invader now. Okay, I got my shield. I can shoot these guys. Well, let's just go over them. You know, no harm, no foul. Well, I did harm his friends, but I didn't harm him, so... There was no foul. Let's nuke all the enemies on screen. Shoot these airplanes dropping bombs on me. Okay, now the missiles. The missiles. The missiles. And avoid the missiles. I gotta say, getting shot by a missile is not something you want to see. So we will run away. And then, if I beat this level, I'll show you like a, I'll show you a rocket level, but those aren't necessary to beat the game, so I'll only really play like one or two. Okay, okay. I just have to make it past right here, because once I get most of them, it's not that difficult. It's like in uh, Mario Land 2, when you beat Wario and he turns into a little baby and runs away. It's kind of like that. So now, we have taken over Kohito. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to try going over somewhere else. Let's try this planet right over here. We'll go a little slower, because I do want to see this planet. There it is. So now we're on Tokiro. Um, gravity seems a little high. Now, I did like the idea of putting the missiles at the end, and I'm going to keep doing that until it fails, like it's, it's some standard operant conditioning kind of stuff. And we will put this shield replenisher in this, like, swampy area. Okay. Watch out for these guys, because I... Frankly, I don't want to get hit by a surface-to-air missile. And I got hit by a surface-to-air missile. But, you know, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. So, this, this planet seems to put a little bit more value on their defense, but nothing a little bit of my glory to the Space Empire can't solve. can't let anyone down. What if there's like a... <clears throat> if there's an alien watching, they'll be all like, wow, Connor, you suck at shooting space planets and taking them over. So let's kill that one guy specifically with my super-powered kill-everything button. I don't know why I give alien a robot voice, but... You know, yeah. No, I gotta beat the aliens. You know, it's like that uh, Your Favorite Martian song, Alien, except I'm the guy that's bullying the alien. Shields definitely do help. It's a drop in the bucket. Or it's not really a drop in the bucket, it's more like a cascade in the bucket. I have made a drop in the bucket joke last time, but you know, it's a common phrase, you gotta say it, even though I have never said it correctly once, so I had to modify it. One of these days though, I will find a drop in the bucket, and I will say it's a drop in the bucket. We're already at the end, we're already at the end, that's what the missiles are for. Okay, so we'll get the one on the bottom first. I said we'll get the one on the bottom first, and now there's only one left, because the missiles absolutely rocked this guy like a hurricane. Okay. 
So, we took over two planets today. I'd say that was a great success. It's two more planets than I usually take in an average day. So what we will do is we will create a suspend point and continue this in episode two. And I will see you guys next time.